Hi everybody, welcome to today's live makeover. I'm Julie Christine and our beautiful model today is Narelle. Hello. Hello, <laughs> we're so excited to have her. Narelle is beautiful and her, so stunning. And her sister Alani was our model last week. So she referred her sister and we're so excited. So when Narelle sat in my chair, I'm like, she just has stunning features. She has great skin. So I thought it would be really fun to do like a Barbie inspired glam on her today. She said I could do whatever. She's yes. like, I'm excited for the glam. Go for it. And she's never worn lashes. No, right? I haven't. Okay. I'm really nervous for that part. It'll be fun. <laughs> so we're going to do lashes, and we're actually going to talk a bit about that. So I've started with some of the makeup today done, and I kind of want to explain to you guys like some key points on the face that make a really big difference. So we're going to talk about lashes. I'll do a quick eye look for you guys, and then we're going to talk about lips and just sort of like finishing the look. And we're going to do brows on camera for you guys today, too. I don't always do it. I usually do it off camera. We're going to do it on camera for you guys to see. So um, let's get started doing a little bit more work on the face. So I've already done the foundation, some contouring, a little bit of highlighting. And we're going to do a cream blush really quick. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think we'll do liquid. I think we'll go with NARS with this pink one. Okay, so this is the NARS. Oh, that's pretty. It's so pretty, right? Wow. It's like a little rose, yeah. rose petal pink. <laughs> so this will look really good with Norelle's skin tone. And this is like a lighter pink. This is like a very Barbie pink. So we're going to kind of pop it on the cheeks. I might mix a couple colors depending on how pink I want to go. I think I want something with a little more pop. Okay. We're going to do, these are the Milk Makeup Sticks. This is the shade Quickie. Have you used these before? I've never used those before. They are so fun. So they're like a cream stick. Mm -hmm. It kind of, like when I describe it, it kind of reminds me of the texture of like Vaseline or something. I like the deep red. I love that. Right? Yeah, this is very pretty. pretty. Yeah. This is like such a gorgeous color. It's very purple. So it looks very dark, mm -hmm. but then it shears out a little bit, but this will be really pretty. I felt like the NARS liquid flush wasn't giving me enough pop. I want a little bit deeper of a color on her cheekbones, like her high cheekbones. And then I think I'll switch back to the NARS for her apples to give like that baby pink on the apples, but we'll give a little more color here. And these are my two favorite products. I love these milk makeup sticks. They're so pretty. I have um, the really pink shade. It's like a hot pink and I use it every day on my cheeks. I probably even have it on. No, I don't have it on today because I did bronzer. But when I wear like a blush, like a color, I love that one. And then um, I obviously love the NARS ones too. They're so good. But look how pretty that is on her cheek. So her skin is really smooth. So she, it's very reflective. We did um, a lot of hydrating and then I did the Becca primer to get kind of a glow on her cheeks and so I really like these cream and liquid blushes because they also are quite reflective and they kind of keep that look to the face. Okay, so I love, love how that's looking. And it's quite subtle, it's like very dark on the stick but then when you start to apply it, it's pretty light. Okay, and then I am gonna do, we'll do a little bit of the NARS really quick, just on the apples to give it a pop. So if I, don't know what look I'm going to do. I do blush last. Like if I'm just mm -hmm. sort of like going into someone's face and like letting the face speak to me and like think as I go, I do blush last because when you do blush, you're deciding the color palette of the face. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to do like, let's say you do a super bronzy look. You don't want to do like a bright pink blush because it changes the look, right? Like you can, they're fine. They go together, but but since I know I kind of want to do a Barbie inspired, we want to do some pinks, we want to do pretty lashes. I'm so down with the pink blush, so I know it's fine, but just a little tip for you guys when you're creating looks. Okay, so we're doing the NARS color just right on the cheeks, just on the little apples. So I'm going to turn you. So we have like this nice gradient of color. We did sort of the deeper, um, more mauve pink purple color here and then the the NARS the little baby pink right on the apples so so pretty okay let's do um a little bit of highlighting really quick and then we'll get into the eyes um I am going to 
brow. Oh, let's do this one. Okay, this is like the Barbie highlighting palette. This is Nicole Guerrero. This is Anastasia palette. Anastasia has such pretty highlighters. They're very, very, very reflective. They have shimmer, shimmer in them and kind of a little bit sparkly, but the texture is still really nice. They're still very... Like I almost described that when you swatch it, it's almost like they're kind of metallic more so than like chunky glittery. Um, but this is my favorite actually palette that um, Anastasia has ever done because they're, they just, she has those really pretty like pinky tones and you don't see that in highlighters a lot. So I really like it, but these are like super intense. So you don't want to do, you don't want to go in with too much. And I really like this one. It's kind of like purpley. So I'm going to turn you a little bit. So I'm just really lightly going to dust it on the cheeks. And see how reflective that is? It's like uber shiny. And this palette, she it was limited edition, and it sold so well. They brought it back a couple times. Um, and if you can still get it right now, I'll link it for you guys. I'm going to do this on the inner corner. And then we'll do a little bit on the bridge of the nose. I did contour her nose, so we'll go in with some highlighter. I like to do like right between the eyes with the highlighter, like right there. And then I do like a teeny bit on the lip. I don't always go do a, a line all the way down with highlighter because um, sometimes I feel like that makes the nose look long. I more like to sort of meticulously just do a little bit. Okay, love the way that looks. Um, let's do eyeshadow and then we'll do brows. So I have the Jackie on a, on a Saja palette and this one is so pretty. Like even the case is pretty. It's like reflective so little pretty. faux alligator Anastasia. do you love her yes oh absolutely. she has the best stuff i love her too um all her palettes are pretty but this one's super pretty because i'll hold it by neural's face so that the camera can focus so this one just has a really really fun shade range i really like that it has like these bolder pink colors it has some good neutrals and it has um these like shimmers that are really pretty and this one's really fun too sort of that purple shimmer so i think um i think i'm gonna do this sort of pink one today i'm gonna like go in with these three colors so we're gonna do some of this berry pink that we did on the lips um and then we're gonna use this sort of like pinky brown just to contour everything and keep it from looking too pink like we're gonna keep this look pretty wearable And Jackie Ina is just the cutest. She has a channel and she's super talented with makeup. And I felt like she did such a good job um, choosing the range, shade range for this palette. You can do a lot of different looks. Okay, so this color is called Pinker. But it's kind of like a berry purple color, I would say. So we're just going to do this like in the crease. We're going to wing it out a little bit. And generally, if I've done the foundation first before eyeshadow I usually will hold a cotton pad underneath the eye just out of habit just to save me the trouble if I get any fallout but you can see when you look at the pad I'm really not getting fallout fallout would be down here this part I'm actually touching the cotton with my brush so it's just up to you I just like to take that precaution when I'm working on a person I'm doing it on myself I probably don't care <laughs> I'll be a little more carefree plus I feel like people know their own face better like you kind of know if you're gonna get fallout or not so Narelle <laughs> loves to play with makeup but occasionally like you're not yeah. like an everyday makeup wear yeah no not anymore I used to wear it like every day consistently but it was just like bad for my skin and I wasn't taking good care of it and I was breaking out a lot so I stopped wearing it. That's such a big thing for people that love makeup. You have to like almost double cleanse, right? Like if you're yeah. doing a lot of foundation, you really have to get it off because it can do a number on your skin for sure. Yeah, there was always like leftover mascara or like I just didn't do a good job taking all of it off. And my skin was just getting really irritated from that. Well, that's probably why your skin is good now if you're not really yeah, wearing it. Yeah, because I've been taking much better care of it makes such a big difference so what's your favorite is Anastasia your favorite makeup brand um it's my favorite for like highlighter they're so good which highlighter do you like do you do the palettes um yeah I got this one palette like years ago I was trying to remember the name it was like it's called a glow kit I think mm -hmm. and it was like brown 
Is it the sun-kissed one? Is it like kind of tan or is it a dark brown? It's like a dark brown. Ooh, that'd be pretty. Yeah. They last forever, right? Yeah. Like I, forever. I still, I still have it. <laughs> yeah, she does good stuff. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going into this palette and going into the darker color. This is called Credit. It's like just the brown. Mm. All in a stash of palettes. I feel like she does a good job of throwing in like a couple workhouse colors, like ones that will just kind of work with any look. Um, and this is a brown, like a deeper brown. Um, but I feel like she'll throw browns in there that kind of have the undertones of the other colors. Like there's a lot of pinks and purples in this palette. And so this particular brown has more of like a pinky red undertone. So it goes well, like when I'm topping the other kind of purple color with it, it's pulling very purple, which I think is really pretty. So I like that. It is really nice when you can just pull from one palette and you're not like opening up all your palettes or you don't have to depot everything and make one big palette unless you're into that and you're a makeup artist. And I feel like Anastasia does such a good job with her color stories and her palettes. I'm a big fan. Okay, so same thing. So let me kind of turn it around for us so you guys can see. So this eye just has the um, the one shade called pink, pinker? Pinker on the lid, <laughs> that kind of purple color. So we just started shaping her eye. Since I did nose contouring, I brought in the eyeshadow up near her brow and I brought it down into the nose. And I definitely, because I like Narelle's bone structure, I wanted to go ahead and wing out the shadow and do like a little bit of a, of a flick. So this eye just has that. And then this one, I went in with that deeper color, the brown, I'll show you guys one more time. This is called Credit. So see how in the palette it totally just looks brown, but if you look close, it kind of does like have a, it's like a purpley brown with like a little bit of pink in it. So that was my topper. It's just like my definer shade. So I'm gonna define over here and then bring it up a little bit into there. And this is actually quite natural. We're going, go ahead and close. We're doing a little bit more, having a little bit more fun with the color, but it's very wearable the same time. Okay, so I like to start near the lash line. That's where I want the most concentration of color to be. And then I'll get in with my color and then I'm going to flick it outwards a little bit to extend it. And then I'm going to come up into the crease and go up into the brows just to define that. Norelle has a nice, big, pretty lip, lid space. So we can play around with our eyeshadow placement. So when, Narelle, when you like to go all out with your makeup, you're like, okay, I'm going to do a look. Like, what's your favorite thing? Like, do you like skin and highlighter or eyes? I love to do, like, the one or, like, the look that looks the most natural. So, like, light foundation and just, like, a little bit of eyeliner and mascara and just my brows. So it's, like, a natural look, but it's not natural. Yeah. But I, like, I want it to look as natural as possible. I love that. So it's like you take the time, but it looks natural, yes. even though it like took yeah. whoever knows. So it's like, oh, it doesn't look like she's wearing that much, but it's like, oh. I love that too. That's like my favorite. And honestly, that's what people always ask for. Like when they come in and they're getting their makeup done for something, go ahead and close. That's what they want. So it's like I still spend my 45 minutes or an hour doing their makeup, yeah. but it looks like very natural. Yeah. The effortless look. Yes. The effortless look that takes so much effort. <laughs> okay, this is, so there's two lighter shimmers in this palette. So we have, let's see, let's turn them this way. This one is, oh gosh, I don't, I'm always nervous I'm going to like pronounce the <laughs> shadow <laughs> colors wrong. So this is the lighter one, and then this one's like a little bit more gold. So I just sort of wanted like a pinky light wash. Go ahead and close I feel like this is a little more gold than I want it to be. So I'm going to try this one just it's a little bit deeper. Or I might pull one of my other palettes just to see if I can get something with like a little bit more of a pink finish. I don't know. I kind of like that glittery one. Let's see what I have. I really like too for glitters. I like the Tati Beauty. Oh, her pink might be pretty. That's like very bright. Look at her face. She's like <laughs> loving it. Okay, do we need to so use these pretty. glitters? Yes. Are you a oh, glitter girl? I love glitter. I just okay. never know how to do it right, so I never do it. Okay. Well, she got excited when I pulled out yeah. the Tati, so. I couldn't. We'll, <laughs> we'll use the Tati palette. I can't disappoint her. Okay. <laughs> so Tati has like a whole row of pressed glitters, so those are like very, very intense, very glittery, but let's do it. So this whole row is pink. So we'll use this 
pink glitter. I think that will be very pretty and very Barbie today. So, but first I'm gonna make the eyes even. So we're gonna go over here and do what we did. And when you're doing shimmers, I'm not holding my little paper underneath the eyes or my little pad. So you just wanna go in with like little pressing motions and then do swiping so that you're not having fallout. Okay, all right, go ahead and open. So pretty, okay. So for these pressed, um, pressed glitters, you can put them on by themselves. If I have a glitter primer pulled, I'm gonna use that. I'm not sure if I do. Let's see, I might not have it pulled out. So we will just use, um, we're just gonna use a brush. So when I do pressed glitters or shimmers, I like to use a synthetic brush. I like to use like a pretty small one and then get it wet is like the key. So that will make it sticky for the glitters to stick. So we'll go into this palette, go into the glitter one. I really hope Tati comes out. So this is a Tati palette. This is her volume one of her story collection. And she came out with this one, I wanna say a year ago. And I think she definitely intended to do more shadows, but she has not yet. And I hope she does because I really loved her formula and I loved the way that she thought out her palettes, how she did go ahead and close. She only had six different colors in that palette, but she did four different textures for each color. I thought it was really creative and a great um, like functional way to design the palette. Okay, look how stunning this glitter is on Narelle. She's gonna love it. She may be getting a sneak peek. Sometimes that lens is like a little bit reflective so you can kind of see what we're doing, but this is so gorgeous. I'm so blind, I like. Oh yeah, because you have glasses. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I have no clue what you're I doing. I just look like kind of like a blur, like a matte blur. Oh girl, you need LASIK. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I thought about it, but I'm scared. Because yeah. one of my friends, she did it and she made a YouTube video like of her experience. And I was like, okay, that doesn't really seem that bad. But I don't know. Can't you like go blind? Probably. But don't think about that. <laughs> like, I did it. Oh, so, you did? Yeah, I totally did it. And I was oh like so blind. Like my, on my contact box, I was like a negative seven. Yeah. I don't know what that means because I know you wear your glasses. Mm -hmm. But like so blind. Like I would drop my glasses in the morning and I couldn't find them. Like you know how people drop a contact and they're like, where is it? Like my yeah. giant glasses, I'd be like, where are they? I can't see them. Oh like I was literally so blind. But I was like you and I was super scared to do LASIK because it's like your eyeball, right? Yeah. And like you, your eyes are important. Like, am I supposed to trust you to like yep. laser my eyes? Yeah, yeah. And you're not going to mess up? Like, do you promise? <laughs> do you swear? <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I went and toured like the facility before I got it done to see. And they're like, okay, we're going to show you a video of how LASIK works. I'm like, heck no. Like, I do not want to see. Yeah. That's too creepy. Like, I just want to know that you're qualified. I don't want to like watch it. Be I don't want to know what you do. I just want to yeah, know that no. you guys are like really good. Yeah. So like I did research, but it's like the best thing in the whole world. Did it hurt? No. It's like 17 seconds an eye. It's either 7 or oh. 17. I can't remember. Because if you go, and I'm sure most places are like this now, go ahead and close. But if you go somewhere with like a better machine, like the yeah. highest technology, it's faster. Like when you used to do LASIK, they would have to manually. So like a human would cut your little cute eye oh and then gosh. the laser would do the laser. But where I went, a machine, like a laser cut your eye. And I'm like, okay, I trust that so much more. There's like no room for human error and stuff like that. Oh my gosh, okay. So, <laughs> it's like, it seems pretty quick then. Yeah, it's super quick. So you, and I'm like, I remember asking my doctor, so they lay you down and they're like, okay, look at this red light. And I'm like, okay. And I'm like, but what if like I mess up and I don't look at the red light? And they were like laughing at me. They're like, that doesn't happen. And I'm like, well, it could. Like, then you're just going like, to laser it that. Yeah, I was like, there, like so scared. I was truly like terrified, but. It was perfect. And you just wear like glasses after? Yeah, so you just wear, I think you really couldn't wear anything. There was like a couple days of downtime, like you just kind of had to wear like these goggles. You looked like a bug and like do nothing for the day. But you can kind of see, like I remember leaving and you already can kind of see, but then it takes your eyes like a bit to heal. Yeah. So there's not like necessarily a lot of downtime. You just kind of don't want to do anything okay. for a while, but I know two glorious. people who've gotten LASIK now. And I mean, you guys are both fine. <laughs> We're totally fine. We made it. Oh it's the best. <laughs> no, I highly recommend it. I definitely highly recommend going to somebody awesome, like do your research. 
because yeah. it's your eyeballs. Like, they're important. <laughs> yeah. But it's so good. These glasses are, they're such a hassle. Such a hassle, huh? Yeah. And they're then so contacts cute, would though. also be a hassle. Do you wear those ever? Mm-mm. Because I already, like, lose my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You're cute with the glasses, though. I do love them they're as a so fashion, cute. like, accessory. But... You have to get, like, the clear lenses or the non-prescription so you can just wear them. (laughs) Yeah, whenever I want to be, like, fashionable. Yes. Okay, go ahead and open. You guys, look how gorgeous, like, that glitter is. That's the perfect shade. This pink shade, I'll hold it up again so you can see. So see this whole row? These are all pressed glitters. So pressed glitter is different than, like, a shimmery or a glittery eyeshadow. It's, like, more intense. So this is, like as much glitter as you can possibly get. It's just pressed, which means it kind of has a built-in primer. So you saw that I didn't have to do a glitter primer, which you definitely can. I'm just like dusting off the extra glitter on her face. You definitely can do a glitter primer. It's helpful and probably preferred, but the way these eyeshadows are, you don't have to. And like, it's gonna stay quite nicely on her face. But so pretty. Okay, now we're gonna do liner. Um. And I'm sorry, for those of you in the live chat, I couldn't get the video. Let me try again. I couldn't initially get the video to load on my phone. Oh, I see it. Okay, so if you guys are in the live chat, hello, welcome. You guys are so fabulous. You can say hi to beautiful Narelle. Hello. You're already getting compliments. They're like, what a beautiful model. Oh my gosh. I know, she is stunning. Okay, that is looking so pretty. So now let's do some eyeliner. Um, so Sephora just recently had a sale, so I grabbed a ton, well, a couple of the Marc Jacobs liners that I really like. I had one eyeliner and I'll... Really? Yeah. I'm excited. So I love, I generally do gel liner, and I probably will do some gel liner on Neural today, but I'm also going to do this eyeshadow stick. So these are the Marc Jacobs. Go ahead and look up for me. And we're going to do her entire waterline with these. So a, like a stick eyeliner, an eye coal is really good for the water area. It just glides on nicely. And I love these little travel size ones because I actually don't use an eyeliner pencil very often. And so I don't like finish mine by the time it's time to like throw them away and replace them like before they expire or whatever. So... I like the little mini ones. Okay, I'm gonna have you look kind of down like that and then I'm gonna lift up your lid and just get right in between all the lashes. You doing okay? Yeah. Do you ever I do want this? To water. You're okay. If you, do your eyes water easy? Yeah. They do? Okay. I'm gonna do gel liner on her waterline because this is actually like faster. So with a pencil, when you go on the waterline, you kind of have to go back and forth like a couple times to build it up. Yeah. Um, but with the gel, I can just like press it really quick. So it'll be good. I feel like people that wear glasses tend to have watery eyes. My eyes are so watery. Are I, they? They're just so sensitive to like anything. Yeah, I feel like mine are too. Like when the slightest I wore... even breeze, like they'll start. And you're like crying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Okay, so I'm going to have you, same thing, kind of look. Like, look at the brush for me. I'm going to tilt your head up. Perfect. Down with your eyes. Okay, perfect. And you can blink if you need to, but I think this will be a little bit quicker, yeah, for the eyes. You're doing great. Yeah. So look kind of over this way. Good, so that the brush, it's easier on people's eyes if they don't have to look at the brush coming at the eye. Okay, that was so good. I got almost your whole lid. So <laughs> look over this way. Good. And when, so I'm touching her lid right now and there's glitter on it. So beware, like when you set your finger on it, now there's glitter on my hand. So I have to clean it before I like touch other areas of her face. Okay, look um, over this way and up a little. Yes, perfect. So good. Okay, and now look kind of over this way. Yes. So I really like Narelle's eye shape, so I'm kind of doing like a little bit of a point on her inner tear duct, look forward. I just think that's really pretty. It'll give her kind of that like cat eye look. And then I'm gonna have Narelle keep looking forward and I'm gonna take this brush 
And I'm just going to, nope, I'm not going to use that brush. That one's too wide. <laughs> so this is like a Morphe brush. And it's a dupe for a Sigma one that I have. But it's not like quite as narrow. It's like a little bit thicker. And so I can't get as precise. So I'm going to switch to an Anastasia brush. Okay. Go ahead and look forward for me. Perfect. Go ahead and close. Good. So I'm just going to wing this out a little bit with this brush. Same thing on the other side. Go ahead and open. Look forward. Good. Actually, I'm going to clean this one up a little bit. So it's easier to do the wings, you guys, when eyes are open. You can see how it's going to lay. Okay, go ahead and close. Good. And it helps to have a really nice brush. Like, uh, one of the brushes I'm the most picky with is, like, this one. Like, my eyeliner brushes have to be a certain way for me to get wings how I like. So if you're struggling with a winged liner and you'd like to use a gel, Try a different brush. Try, honestly, try the Anastasia brushes. They're the very best. Okay, perfect. All right, look forward again. I'm going to kind of turn you this way and then look right past me. Yeah. So see how I'm like where her eye meets with like the very corner of her eye? I am just going to wing it almost exactly out and then slightly up. And you're going to do a tiny, tiny little light touch. Okay, go ahead and close. And then I'm going to lift her brow a little bit and I'm going to start connecting it. So this is where you need to be precise. Is my head in the way? Can you guys see? I'm going to turn her out a little bit more. Okay. So I'm just going to connect it and I'm just going to do like pressing motions and then a little baby swipe. I don't want to make it too thick. Okay, go ahead and open for me. And then once I do that, then sometimes I'll do like a little bit more work. Go ahead and close. But if you establish where your line is going to be, then you can thicken it when their eyes are closed. Because if you're trying to do the entire wing with their eyes open, like, they're going to water you. <laughs> like, oh, dang water. It. <laughs> no, you're totally good. Like, one little tear making you hurt. You can close. That's funny. What made you water was, um, like, me working on top, like, with your eyes closed. Usually it's the opposite. <laughs> I'm so weird. Though. No, you're totally good. You can stay closed if that's helpful. I can't catch it with my little brush. Okay, stay close. We'll come back to we'll come back to the eyes. So we're gonna do lips, and we're gonna go pink for sure, cause that'll be so pretty. And then we'll come back and we'll do brows, and we'll like finish with eyes. Um. Okay. So I'm going to do this color. It's called Brave by Mac. It's like very purpley. So we're gonna try that. I feel like it's gonna be a good purple nude. I think we'll start with that one. That one's like a little bit purple. I also really like Please Me by MAC. It's a really pretty like wearable pink. So we'll kind of switch between those and see what we like. But we will start with Brave. Do you do pinks ever? Or like color? I have color? worn like pink lipstick. I've really? only worn like dark red. Oh, that would be so pretty. Yeah. What's your red? Like what brand do you like? Um, I think. The last lipstick brand I bought from was NYX. They have such good colors. Yeah, the matte. Ooh, they have good ones. Okay, Narelle has uh, like a nice lip shape, so I'm not even going to do liner because I tend to do liner if I want to slightly overline people's lips. Um, obviously, it helps with longevity, but if I'm really if I'm doing any corrective work on the shape, which I am for a lot of people, I'll do liner, but. Narelle has great lips. In fact, when your sister, when Alani was modeling, someone commented <laughs> and they're like, her lips are so perfect. I would cut off my leg to have them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> or something yes. like that. It was really uh, funny. Yes. And you have similar look, lips. And then we were, me and Kelly were teasing her after. We're like, people pay for these lips. I hope you enjoy them. Oh my God. <laughs> My old boss used to tell me that. Really? Like, he, like, like she'd be like, no, like people pay for lips like that. And I was like, I don't know what I'm supposed to feel. <laughs> You're like, yeah, thank you. <laughs> it's a compliment. It's good. Oh my gosh. That is so funny. 
first I thought your boss was a guy. I was like, he can't be oh, talking about your lips. If it like, was a guy, I would have been like, okay. please don't talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> not about my lips, And then please. you said it was a girl. Yeah, I'm like, mm. yeah. <laughs> I mean, and then she got her lips that. done. She did? She's like, I asked for the Norel. <laughs> yeah, oh, my gosh. That is hilarious. <laughs> What's funny is I think when people get, that's not plastic surgery, that's just filler, but yeah. I think when people get things done, they'll bring pictures of, like, a celebrity of, like, oh, I want her nose or I want her lips. And for some reason, that's totally not weird. But I feel like if she, someone brought a picture, not saying she did, she didn't, yeah. but just saying, like, if you, what if you brought a picture of, like, a friend and you're like, oh, I want to look Honestly, this. I would be, like, kind of honored. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, me? That's true. I guess it would be, like, uber flattering. Yeah. It would be really funny. Because people do, like, Kim Kardashian. Yes. In fact, I was listening to some podcast and she was talking about that, like, how all Kim's friends are just getting, like, all the plastic surgery to look by her. And she's like, I think it bothers Kim, like, the girl that had the podcast. She's like, I bet that makes her so mad. And I'm like, I feel like it's really flattering. Yeah, like, I'm I feel like, like I you. wouldn't care. <laughs> like, oh, thanks. Yeah. Okay. I actually love this pink color. Uh, so this is a Brave by MAC, and it definitely has more of, like, that purpley. It's, like, a purpley pink, but it's really pretty. And we'll do a gloss for sure. But pink is actually pretty wearable, you guys. I know it's like all about the news and I'm all about the news, but I love a good pink. I like it's so fun. It feels like very girly and very like fresh. Sorry, Narelle can't really talk when I'm doing her. <laughs> no, I'm like, oh my god, yes. <laughs> I just like agree with everything. You're <laughs> Thank you. No, oh, this is so good, this color. Okay, can you guys see the lips okay? I'm trying to not, let me turn around like slightly so my head's not in the way of the camera. So this is my favorite lip brush. This is the Mondo 170 and it's just really good for like sculpting out the lip shape and also spreading the lipstick around, but it's not too wide or too floppy. So I feel like I cannot do liner if I have a good lip brush, but if I don't, I have to do liner, otherwise I won't get a shape that I like. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you guys a little, a little tip for cleaning up the lips. So if you want like a really perfect lip, I like to go in to my like concealer or my foundation that I did on the face and use like a flat brush, the so synthetic brush for sure little flat brush and we're just going to edge up the lips it's going to help it look really perfect really perfect little lips okay let me know in the chat guys if you if my head gets in the way when i do this i'm trying to keep her straight on so you guys can see and i'm also trying to not get in front of her at all which I will say is quite, <laughs> quite difficult. So let me know how it's coming across. Okay. Oh, yes, you're getting compliments on your lips. So like, oh, yes, they're yeah. perfect. Thank you. <laughs> okay, we're going to do, you guys know I cannot, I can't do a look these days without the Buxom Cosmetics glosses. They're just so pretty. Um, and I am going to do, let's do the shade Dolly. So Dolly is very purple. So we're going to do Dolly. It's like a purple pink. So, put this on my dish. It's funny, I have like, so I love the box, Buxom glosses. I think I have like six shades, so I don't have all of them. I just sort of picked, and four of them are like variations of this like very wearable sort of natural pink. <laughs> but they're different, like they all have different undertones, so I use them differently. And I was telling producer Kelly about them I'm like okay these are like the best colors and so she bought like three of them or something and she's like Julie they're literally the same I'm like no they're so different she's like laughing in the corner but her daughter her cute daughter Ella who's been on the channel Ella's like no mom they're like a thousand percent like they're so different why don't you see <laughs> so anyways they all look the same to me. They all look the same to <laughs> Kelly I'll tell you what they are right now so this these are like my my colors that I need to have it's I have six, but these three pinks are like to the naked eye identical, but I'm telling you they're not. So Dolly, Blushing Margarita, and Hot Toddy. So Hot Toddy is like very warm. It's like a like a red, sort of like a rich spice pink. 
And then Dolly is what we're doing on Norel today. Dolly's like a purple pink. So Dolly is like, if you guys have ever worn Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk lipstick, which is like, that is just the best color, you guys. That shade is just so gorgeous on every face. It's like a very, to me, it's like a purpley pink, like a nude pink. And so Dolly is like exactly, to me, Pillow Talk in a gloss. So this is what I'm doing. So I do Dolly anytime I'm doing like a cool pink. And then um, Blushing Margarita is like just my mid pink, like my natural pink. So I feel like all three are a necessity. But if you are like producer Kelly, just get Blushing Margarita <laughs> and call it a day. That's the only one you need if you aren't super into colors <laughs> like me. Okay, let's do, okay, I think I'm going to work on Norel's liner a little bit. And then I'm going to give her a break, go to eyes, and then do lashes last. So I love, 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 love the way her eyes are looking. So we're just going to clean up that liner a little bit more. And so this is, this is like the day of Anastasia colors. I'm using, or Anastasia products. So I am using the Anastasia waterproof color. I really love this as a cream liner, gel liner, if you will, whatever you want to call it. The pot liner. I have used so much brushes on you, Norel, today. That's so funny. I have like a mil like usually I just have a couple oh I gosh. use. I don't know why. I feel like I use the same brushes on everybody, but I have like quite the spread going on. Okay, go ahead and close for me. So. So we're just basically connecting. Oh, your eye. This one, this is like your watery eye, huh? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and look forward. Good. And I'm just going to go over the waterline a little bit more. Go ahead and look up. I really liked the Marc Jacobs liner. But I think I want, it's like a soft black, if that makes sense. Which is sort of an interesting concept. Like a soft black to me would be like a gray. But it's still like a very, very black black. But it's not as intense, right? And I want it to look a little bit more intense. So I'm topping it with this Anastasia color. Okay. So that is looking great. We'll let your, we'll give your eyes a break and then we'll do some brows. So I do brows off camera most of the time, just to save time um, since our tutorials are live. But I know you guys like to see them and so I'll do them for you now. Honestly, another reason I like to do brows off camera is because I like to stand right in front of their face, but I'll, I'll try to keep her forward and keep myself out of the way. So looking at Norelle's brows, like I like them. She has a great shape. They're fluffy and full. So I don't want to do a defined brow on her today. I feel like that would be too much. I just want to go with her natural shape. She kind of has that Ariana Grande brow where they're like arch, but they're more straight instead of like very curved, which I like. I like that shape a lot. So we're going to keep that. So what I'm going to do, this is the Anastasia pencil, again with the Anastasia today <laughs> for you, Norelle. No, I love it. <laughs> Me too. This is dark brown. So I'm just going to go in. And I generally just where I decide to start the brows is I, I'll look where their brow starts, obviously, naturally. And then I'll just hold my little tool. I'm going to do these little strokes. And I'm, I'm going straight up right now because I like her brows brushed up. I'm going to start to curve my strokes as I get to the other corner. Okay, I am going to turn her. Let me know if you guys can still see. Um, not go too close together otherwise you're just starting to fill it in if you want it to be the hairs you need a little bit of space give that instruction again Jules. okay so another thing with like when you're doing a natural brow a lot of people when they do the strokes they tend to just go in and go stroke 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 and really fill them in and then you just look like you have filled in brows so you need to leave space in between all your strokes if that makes sense. You guys can probably see on camera. So if you leave space, they look like hairs. If you fill it in, it obviously looks like you filled in. And turning a little bit more. So when you get to the tail, I think a lot of people tend to just go downward with the tail, but try keeping the brow more flat. It gives the face kind of like a lifted look. Like it's just prettier and then sometimes I'll go at the base of the brow and I will do like a line down here 
just to further define the arch and then I'll brush it up and that gives me that sculpted brow but still natural be careful with that because this is totally going to change the shape of your brow like this one little line under there see how much more sculpted they look okay look at me it's looking good and then another place i'm kind of picky with is like this little arch up here we want that even on both sides do you guys like seeing the brows done on camera if you do, I'll do it more often. I just tend to do them first. Okay, stunning. So in person, this is like, I'm all about her brows right now. On camera, because of the way the lights are, a lot of times I will top this with a brow powder. I'll show you really quick, just because these lights kind of wash things out. Um, or if your brows, like if you have oily skin and your brows just don't really stay and you do pencil, it's really good to top it with a brow powder because it's going to set it so the pencils are very waxy and so if you set it with powder they're going to last longer so i'm going to go in with the shade soft brown it has a little 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 bit of warmth to it and i'm just taking like kind of a wide angled brush and i'm just very lightly brushing that brow powder over the entire brows and that's just going to set them and it's also going to fill in kind of the spaces between the hair strokes that I did. But the brow pencil is a lot darker and stronger than this powder. And so it's just a light shadow. It's still going to leave my hair strokes intact. I said I wasn't going to powder your brows, but I did. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys. And it will help it stay. So it's not bad to powder them. Okay. Very pretty. Love that. Okay, let's clean up under the eyes and then I'll show you guys the lashes. Okay, oh, you guys are saying you do like seeing brows. I like seeing, everyone does brows so different, so I like seeing it, but sometimes I try to pull the time consuming things out of the videos. Okay, and then Megan says she likes the entire process. Well, yay, I'm glad you like it. Glad we had some great <laughs> brows to show you today. And hers were like stunning already. That's the trick, you guys. When you're doing someone else's brows or you're doing your own, brush them all straight up first and you really can see the shape of the natural brows. Sometimes you don't need to do as much as you think you would. Okay, let's clean up under the eye a little bit. I'm going to take a Q-tip and then some micellar water. Maybe? No. We'll just use a cotton pad. I have like two bottles of micellar water. So this one has, is the largest size. So it's like a pump top which is so handy. But then when I wanna use a Q-tip though, I need like the dump top, like the one that has like the little hole and I don't, I don't have that pulled out right now. Go ahead and look up. Just gonna clean up under there a little bit. It's kind of the smudge. Your eyes did pretty good. It's funny, you, ha you made like one big tear, but then yeah. you didn't really water much after that. I don't know. That's funny. Go ahead and lick your teeth for me. You have a little bit of, I'll cover your mouth. Okay, perfect. All right, that is looking good. So that was my soda water. Now I'm going to clean it up with the Q-tip. And you guys, um, next week here in the U.S. is Thanksgiving. So, and our Thanksgiving is on a Thursday. So we won't do a live on a Thursday. And we're not going to do a live on Tuesday either because, um, Kelly's kids uh, have Thanksgiving break. She wants to hang with her family. And my family is coming too. So we're going to hang. I may do, we'll see. I'm, I'm thinking about doing like a bonus live and doing my own makeup or something like that. I've never done, I've never done my own makeup. I've done it on live, like on Facebook, but never on camera. Because I'm like, oh, that's just so boring. <laughs> I mean, I would love to see that. <laughs> So I may, you guys, I may do that. I might show you guys like what I do just like day to day because I, I love makeup. I think it's so fun. I love to do makeup every day. It like, feels like refreshing. But like if I'm not going to be on camera or honestly, even if I am on camera, I'm like, no, 15 minutes max. Like I'm not going to do like all the things. So I kind of have like cut a lot of steps and I feel still feel like I like the way it looks. So I was thinking about demoing that for you guys. 
my mom glam like get ready quick glam <laughs> it's good okay let's do let's do these lashes so i pulled some lashes so let's talk about lashes when I want more of like a look, when I want to be like glam or Barbie or whatever, like just a little more extra for the day, I love a thicker lash. So let me hold, um, I'm going to have Kelly put up on screen my Ardell Wispies. So up on screen in just a second, she'll pop up a picture for you guys. So those are like this, a similar type of lash that I usually do. And they're kind of what Norelle and I was talking about earlier, like the very wearable natural glamour. It's like you do all the things, but you look like a fresh faced, right? Yeah. So the ones Kelly's going to put up, put up, if you look at them, they have like a skinnier band on top and then they're quite like spaced apart. The bristles like kind of more fluffy. Like if you look at the very tips, they're not a lot of lash when you get to the top so if I want more drama I'm going to use like a foaming lash so these ones oh did I turn it the wrong way okay so I already have trimmed like a pair of these so I need to make sure they're good I'm going to hold these up by Norelle so if you look at these ones these have like such a thick base and if you hold them to the side let me kind of bend the package for you can you guys see how it's like two layers of lashes so these are hand tied so it was almost like somebody took a couple pairs of lashes that are really 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 soft and they stacked like three of them together and then they sewed it with like kind of a big chunkier base which sounds not as nice but when you have a really thick base like that it's going to look like more eyeliner so it's going to look like you did more of an eye look it's more intense so these are one of the sets that i really like because um i'll kind of hold them here so you guys can see so they're like if you look at these they're spaced apart too like the density of the bristles they're like spiky for lack of a better word and so they're still going to look natural at the tip but these are more drama so if you want like more extra lash game you want to use like a foamy lash or a thicker one like anything with a very thick band and they're completely different so the Ardell ones Kelly had up on screen those are like a thin clear band if that makes sense so a little tip for you guys when you're lash shopping is you're just going to get a whole different look and these are like for sure Barbie lashes like they're still going to be pretty. They're not. So I feel like Barbie lashes are different than doll lashes. So if you think about like a porcelain doll, they just have like a shelf of lashes, right? It's like they're all the same length. They're all super long. They're all curled. It's like one layer, but that layer is so thick. So like that's what we don't want. Like they're pretty, but they're very like, oh, cute fake lashes. Like those look great. <laughs> but these lashes where they're kind of spiky or feathered or tapered at the tips but thick at the bottom that's like your barbie lash like that's like too good to be true but could be real like that's what we want that's what i like okay so we're gonna we're gonna put these on you <laughs> and then i'm gonna fan you to kind of keep your eyes from watering so i'm gonna make sure the glue is set so because she's a waterer I used clear glue, but you're doing so good. You really just water for like a second. Yeah, it was just the one. Was I was like, that's I... it, but no more. You did great. <laughs> so when I'm working on somebody whose eyes water, you really need to get your glue to be like the perfect consistency because what I need is I need it to stick and to dry as fast as possible as Norel because when the lash is drying, they can't close their eyes or the eyes can be glued together. So. We're gonna make this as comfortable as possible for Norel. So I'm gonna try to get the glue to a good <laughs> consistency. <laughs> did you see your sister when we did her makeup? Did you see her in person? No, that I didn't day? Get to see her in person, but I saw the video. It looks so good. Like I've never seen you with that much makeup ever. Cause she was like not against it, but she just didn't wear makeup. She didn't do it. Yeah, she's in the, her sister's in the corner for moral support. Yeah, <laughs> she's waiting. Yeah, her sister's beautiful, just like Norelle, but she had never. I feel like she said Alani said she had really never even worn mascara or makeup, just mascara. Yeah. Look down for me, but don't close. And this is like your non-watery eye, so I think we'll be good. So what you're gonna do is I'm just gonna have you look down. You can blink if you need to as much as you need to, but try not to just close and stay closed for me so they can set. Oh yeah, that's good. Now when you let your glue dry properly, they adhere pretty nicely and pretty quickly. So I'm gonna fan Norelle for a second. Look up for me. Okay, look down, good. Is that pretty? 
And honestly, for like a first lash, these are like quite the lash. So these are more <laughs> like you'll be more aware of them. And we're going to have to curl them when we're done because they'll hit your glasses. That's another tip. If you guys wear glasses, if somebody wears glasses, I always curl the lashes because if you think about it, like let me turn Narelle to the sides for you guys. So see how these lashes are like, they're straight out, right? But if we curl them, they're going to be like this. So they're going to be kind of shorter. So when she blinks, they're not going to hit her, her lashes. Maybe they still will because these are long, but they'll be better. They'll be more <laughs> comfortable. Okay. That's good. Let's get our glue on our next one. Hey, oh, you guys do want to see my own makeup. Okay, maybe I will do it. Oh, and that Megan says maybe a kit tour. That's a fun one. I was thinking about doing that. Would If you I did a kit tour, would you guys want to like a live video like this or would you want to edit it so it's like <laughs> not quite as long? Um, I haven't decided. Also, I've had so many requests to do a makeup brush video, like showing you guys the brushes I use. Um, like my set because I have very specific brushes I like but then I have like 10 sets of those exact brushes and I've tried a couple different brands and stuff and I it's like the the jinx video because Kelly and I filmed it for you guys live one day like our model canceled and we're like oh well I'll just film like we'll go live and we'll talk about brushes because you guys have requested that and we did it and it was like the glitchiest thing it was the only time that we did a video and we had to delete it because it was so glitchy. Like it was so weird and we're like, oh, okay, like whatever. And so I'm like, okay, well I'll film it and then I'll throw in B-roll so you guys can see close-ups of the brushes and stuff like that and it will be super good. And I filmed it and um, the focus was bad. <laughs> so like I filmed the entire thing and then like the focus was just kind of off on my face. Like my camera, I used our live stream camera and I should have used our different one. And it was bad, so I'm like, okay, I deleted that. And so the next night, I filmed it again, and my sound didn't work. And then so I filmed it one more time. And then my ca it was like bizarre. My camera was like shutting off every two minutes, and it totally had battery. It was so weird. Anyways, because it needs to be alive. It needs to be alive. <laughs> but I I have not forgotten because I actually have a lot of people ask about that, and I'm trying. This is why I go live. I have bad luck when I film videos. Okay. <laughs> I have, I think I have like four edited videos on my channel. Like my first one with lashes and then I have a couple makeup tutorials ones where I do voiceovers. No, maybe more because my hair ones I do voiceovers. Okay, look it down for me. Okay, we're going to do good. We're going to think non-watery thoughts. Yeah. I'm just kidding. You can water it. It'll be okay. But. No. <laughs> Perfect. Oh no, that went on so good. Yay. Well, Fanny, does it help if I fan you or does that make you want to water? Uh, no, I it's okay. It helps, yeah. Okay. So we'll fan her for a second and then we'll go under the eyes. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've never worn lashes before. This feels. It probably feels it's like. It's a feeling. It's a feel. Yeah. <laughs> With these, like I'm saying, like these lashes are thicker. It is a feeling. That's, yeah. a, good, that's a good way to describe it. <laughs> It's a feeling. They once your glues like a hundred percent dry, and we curl them for you. They feel like you're not as quite aware of them, but these ones are. Okay, I'm gonna check the comments again. Oh, you guys are so sweet in your comments. And more people are saying kit tour and mayo makeup. Okay, I'll think about it. Maybe next Tuesday depending on what I'm running around doing before my family comes out, maybe I will go live. Because I feel like that would be fun. I might not leave it. If I, if I film it, I'll, I may live stream it for you guys, but maybe I won't let it go up as a video forever. Okay, that is looking super good. Let's do, I'm going to do a little bit of shadow under the eyes, and then I will... I might not curl. I'm a little bit nervous to curl her lashes too soon because I want the glue to be all the way dry. I don't want to make her eyes water, but I will definitely curl it probably before we take the after photo. Okay, we're going to go back into our little palette. Um, look forward for me. I'm going to clean up under the eyes a little bit more. And then I'm just going to go in with one of these colors. I might even go in with like this pink one. I'm not sure. The one called Supreme, that like very Barbie. 
undecided. Okay. Let's try it. We'll go in with the pink and then I'll add sort of something else. So look up for me. So this is kind of a fun place to do like a pop of colors under the eyes. It's like a little wash. Okay, you can close if you need to. I think there's like a little bit of liner smudged under the eyes and I actually want to clean that up before I do this. And then we'll show Narelle, we'll do the big reveal. Oh my gosh. Her glam, I'm so excited. What are you doing today? Um, I have a dentist appointment at okay. 2.10. Nice. And then my friends and I are getting together for my friend RJ's birthday. Oh, that's so fun. Yeah. Well, good. He's 22. Had, he's 22. Yeah. That's <laughs> a fun B-day. Yeah, I think we're just going to, I think my roommate and I are just going to like drop off a gift for him or something. You guys are sweet. Yeah, we're always like super spontaneous, so we'll find something to do. That's so fun. Well, I'm glad you have places to go to show off the glam. Yeah. That's great news. <laughs> I definitely want to take some pictures. Go ahead and look up. Okay. I like the way that it's a little bit cleaner to do that. So pop the center of the eyes. Pink under the eyes is a bold choice, but I feel like because we did the black liner in the waterline, it's going to pull off the pink a little bit better. If you go pink around the eyes and you don't really work the eyeliner, a lot of times it can just sort of make your eyes look like bloodshot. But Narelle has like a really <laughs> nice whites of your eyes. Like you don't have a lot of veins or anything, so she can do the, the pink shadow. And you have a pretty eye color too. It's like hazel, yeah. <laughs> her sister's like I'm jealous. <laughs> Are yours brown, Alani? Mm -hmm. Yeah, hers are but beautiful. She got her grandmother's eyes. They're so stunning. Go ahead and look kind of up for me. You totally didn't water. You're handling the lashes so good. So proud. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> Your little eye has leveled up. It's like I'm done watering. Yeah, literally. She has evolved. She has. Okay, so this is just the brown, the brown that we did to define the crease in the palette, the color called Credit, and I'm just taking this little brush. This is where I'm going to make Neural maybe cry. <laughs> okay, God, I'm blinking a couple of times. I just, so what I do is um, sometimes when I do like a colorful under eye, I still like it to be blended, so I'll take like a brown or something, and I'll just go like right under the lashes on the outside corners, and I feel like it looks a little more finished, a little less like... I don't know, a little less whatever else, but I like it. Okay, we're going to play Narelle's before video for you guys because we started with foundation and contouring, so we're going to show you the post of that, and then we're going to show Narelle. Oh, my goodness, I'm nervous. Are you excited this. to I see? I have not worn makeup in so long. I'm excited. I'm oh. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Ready? Okay. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> she throws the hair back. She's like, I'm ready. I'm feel... <laughs> feeling it. You are, she's stunning, right? Like, perfect this face. This is so beautiful. Aww. Oh my goodness. Do you love the glitter? I do. I love the I glitter. I love the glitter. It's a good glitter. It's kind of like a rose gold. Yes. You wear it well, Narelle. Oh my gosh, thank you so <laughs> You're much. You're welcome. Thank welcome. you for being my model. Yeah, this, oh my god. <laughs> and do you like the pink lips? How do we yes. feel about the pink lips? I didn't think that I could do pink lips, but. I, everyone can do pink lips. You need the right shade. Narelle looks good with the purple pink, like the blue pink. Okay. And then a couple questions. What did you use in the crease of her lid? So I'll do a recap. You guys, I only use like three colors of shadows, so. Um, for the crease, this color called Pinker. I'm going to hold it up. I'm trying to hold it level where the camera is going to be focused, so let me know if that is working. So this is the color Pinker for the entire crease. And then we went in with this brown color called Credit, and it's a purple brown. Uh, you don't really see it in pan, but it is apparent when you top it over a purple. And so that was like our defining shade. And then under the eye, we did this color called Supreme, this like hot Barbie pink, and a teeny, teeny bit of this brown. All we did. And then the Tati glitter, obviously. So, okay, what brow products do you recommend for a very, a warm, very light blonde? Okay, 
So for very light blondes, you can do, I just like the shade color blonde from Anastasia in the pencil. A lot of times people do the shade color taupe on blondes, but if you're very, if you're very warm, you would either love or hate taupe. So taupe is cool, but if you pull quite orange, you might like the taupe shade. Like if you feel like your brow powders tend to be like orangey on you, you would like taupe, but usually blonde. If someone is so fair and like very blonde, I like the blonde pencil. And then I will top it with a powder. And I would use, let me, I'll hold it up by Norel, see if we have the close up. But the Anastasia powders go hand in hand with their pencil and their blonde color. Let me turn it, if I turn it that way, do you guys see better? So the blonde one has warm undertones. So if you want a golden color, this blonde powder, if you want more neutral, you would do taupe. So that's what I would do. I'm all about Anastasia. She's the brow queen. All her stuff is good. I like Dip Brow too, the pomade, but they don't have a very good blonde one. It's like still quite dark. Um, okay, I think we hit all the questions and then you're just getting so many compliments. Everyone just says oh you're stunning, goodness. absolutely beautiful. Yes, you guys are sweet and she is. She's gorgeous. Okay, guys, maybe next Tuesday I will do a personal live. I'll show you my makeup. Um, or we will be off. I'll put, if we're going to be off, I'll post on my YouTube community page so you guys know. But we won't be live for Thanksgiving, but we will be back the week after that. will be holiday season, so that will be fun. All right, thank you, guys. I'll see you um, maybe next week. Thank you.